Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is the sixth part of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In the previous part we made it possible for employers to add jobs from the dashboard. In this part I'm going to make it possible for the job seekers to apply for the jobs. The first thing I need to do is to create a new model where I can save the applications. I want these to be located on job. So here I create a new class called application model.model. First thing I need to do here is to create a reference to the job up here. So I create a new field called job equals models.foreign key, pass in the job model, give it a related name which is applications and on delete models.delete. So when we delete the job we also delete the applications. Sorry, so models.cascade. But I don't want to delete jobs, I just want to hide them when they are finished. So we don't actually have to worry about this. And then I want a field for the content where the job seeker is going to write information. Content models.text field and one where you can fill out the experience. Experience models.text field is also just a simple text field. And I want the created by and created at, so I can just copy these and rename this to applications and save. So now we have the job content, experience, who created it, and when it was created. Perfect. So now I can just go to the command line, stop the web server, and then update the database. Python manage.py make migrations, and python manage.py migrate. Then I can run the server again. And then I just want to copy this and go to admin.py and register this so we have it in the admin interface. Admin site that register application and save. Perfect. Okay the next thing I'm going to need now is a form to show to the user. I would just want to create this here inside the forms.py class application form forms.model form. Just going to make it really simple at the beginning. Class meta use the model application so I need to import it up here. The fields I'm going to use will be content and experience. The job field is I need to add this later and this later as well since these are foreign keys. So this can just be like this. And then I can copy this and go to views.py because we need a view to show to the user. We have to be logged in to see this so we have to add a login required decorator. Def apply for job request job ID and first I want to just get the job so we have this. So I just use the same method as up here. And then we do the same thing as down here. We want to check if the request method is post. And if it is we just say form equals application form. And pass in the request post data. Whoops, sorry. So we need to import this, and just append it behind here. And then check if the form is valid. If form is valid, then we create a new application by saying application equals form.save commit equals false. And then we can append the job 
as in just application dot job equals job application dot created by is the request user because he is authenticated now and then we just save this and redirect the user back to the dashboard just like here and if it's not request method post you can just create an empty instance of the form and then return render request pass in a template job slash apply for job dot html form form and save so now we need a template where you can show this form before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Apply for job.html. I think I can just copy all of this, add job template and paste. Apply for job. Here I can show the job title, job.title, which reminds me that back here I need to just pause this as well together with the form and save. So here I can replace title. No, I can actually just remove title because here are two text areas content content id content and experience experience id experience and submit so now we can save this so now we have a form where the user can fill in this kind of information so the last step before we can test this is to go to job detail.html, create a link here, ahrf URL apply for job job.id class button is success apply for job and save. And if you are not logged in, you will just be redirected to the login page if you try to click this. But I need to import this. That's the last step before we test. Apply for job. Path. Int job ID. Apply for job. Apply for job. And name is also apply for job. So then we can go to the browser to test this. Just go to log in, job seeker. Okay, I want to apply for this job. Apply my content, my experience, and submit. So now I was redirected to the dashboard and it says that I'm a job seeker. Perfect. And then I can go to dashboard.html. So if you're an employer, you will get listed all of your jobs. But as a job seeker, you want the applications to be listed. Applications. For application. Sorry in a request that user dot applications dot all Dave class application application dot job dot title and if this is empty that you don't have any applications yet you haven't applied for any jobs yet and then we close the for loop so 
software we have the title job one because we have applied for this perfect maybe I can also add a link here so you can see the details of this application this template can be located here together with this one view application.html I can just copy this view application h2 class subtitle application.job.title p strong content application dot content p strong experience application dot experience okay close the block and block Small. Just want to show when we added the application. Application dot created at like that. Perfect. So then I can create a simple view for this. Login required def view application request return render request so here I need the application ID user profile view application and I need to pass in application and to get this from the database and to get this application I just say application equals get object or 404 pass in the application database model primary key has to be application underscore ID which is this one and created by has to be the request dot user so you don't have the possibility to get other people's application I need to import this shortcut up here together with render and I need to import the database model from apps.job.models import application and save. So then I need to import this to the URLs here in the dashboard. Path application int application ID pass in the view and the name is view application so then the last step is to go back to dashboard.html and create a link here so a agrf url the name view application and pass in application.id and then we can close it behind the job title refresh so now we can click the job. Okay, template does not exist. Forgot to add .html there. So now it looks okay. No user profile. Okay, I created it in the wrong folder. Move like that, maybe. Yes, now it worked view application, the job title, when it was created, and content I added. Perfect. Just to fix a quick thing, add a break line here. Like that. Perfect. And that was it for the sixth part of this series. If you liked it, please click like below and share it with your friends. If you want notification when the next part is published, you need to subscribe and remember to click the bell as well. See you next time.